Hi guys, so today I want to talk to you about how fear can affect your personal goals, relationships, and opportunities. So a lot of times the main thing that separates us from other people is basically how we view the world because one person can look at a situation and tell you all the reasons why that it won't work and then you have the next person who can come along and take those exact same circumstances, those exact same cards, and win. Now, why is that? Okay, most successful people will tell you that there's nothing really special about them. I mean, even Beyonce, who told us in her documentary Homecoming that if her country self can do a thing, then you certainly can do whatever it is that you want to do. So why do we sometimes talk ourselves out of the things that we really want? Why do we decide not to take advantage of opportunities that are often right there, like in front of our face, so close that you can literally smell the victory all over it. I mean, what makes you consciously and unconsciously decide to turn on your heels and run the other way when confronted with actually getting the thing that you've told yourself that you actually always wanted? Why do we do that? Why do you sometimes not think that you're worthy? Okay, think about that. I can tell you that it's because most of the time at the root, there's either a belief or a fear that we've been holding on to or a decision that we've made at some point because our subconscious mind thought that it would basically help keep us safe because that's what the subconscious mind is designed to do. It's designed to keep us safe from all perceived threats of harm, whether they are real or imagined. And that can take on many forms. That can look like, you know, not pursuing a relationship, for example, or getting to know someone because you have a fear of rejection or of not measuring up. That can take the form of procrastination, for example, on filing your business paperwork and then not starting to offer your side hustle business service because you're caught in this loop of, oh, I have to file a paperwork or I have to pay to build a website or whatever excuse have you, right? So that reminds me of this time when I was planning to go to Mexico, how I cried every day for a whole week leading up to the trip and because I was so scared and I had the same thing happen to me when I went to college. I cried and cried and cried on the way, <laughs> the whole way from um, Oakland to Atlanta because even though I was getting the thing that I wanted, I was still scared. Um, I've been reading this book recently by David Schwartz and I think it's called The Magic of Thinking Big. Basically, it talks about how we're hardwired to stay safe in life and not to take risks that seem scary. And fear you know, can be really powerful in our life, but in order to deactivate that, um, the author suggests taking action. And I suggest getting to the root cause. And that's the work that I do with clients who I coach. We go in and we find the root thing, the root cause of things like procrastination, damaging self-talk, the fear of being seen, self-sabotage, and all these other things that could be holding you back from showing up and doing the things that you know are good for you, but for some reason you just can't won't commit to okay so i basically help my clients get past all of that so that they can see that there's nothing scary about getting what it is that you want in life you guys it's literally just putting one foot in front of the other and starting where you are and taking action committing to it and taking action on what it is that you want right so there's this quote that I really, really love that says, sometimes the fear won't go away. So you will have to do it afraid, okay? You have to do it scared. And at the end of the day, whether you are scared or not, what matters most is taking the action, being at cause for what happens to you in your life. So if you're ready to stop getting in your own way and you're tired of your own excuses about why you haven't taken action and started being, started doing, and starting to have the life that it is that you want, I want you to hit me up in the DMs because I want to give you a free one-on-one -on -one session to help you map out what your daily life could actually look like when you start really showing up for your life. Ready?
willing, able to take action and get results. Okay. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye.